Hey guys, so I'm sure that you've experienced people that will come into either your workplace or your field of expertise with little to no kind of experience whatsoever and tell you how to do it or tell you how you're wrong uh, or just really, really overestimate their abilities, especially in your particular field or your field of study. Why do people do that? Why do you think people do that? Well, in this episode, I'm going to go ahead and give you some of the details on a phenomenon, a psychological phenomenon known as the Dunning-Kruger effect. Stay tuned. This should be some good info for you. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Billet. I'm the CEO of Bill Enterprises, and today is a Tech Thursday segment where I cover technologies and sciences that can help people live better lives, run better business, be more efficient, just overall be a little bit more, more happy in life because, I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of misery out there right now. So let's, uh, let's get the tools, get the products together, and help each other out and, and live the best lives that we can. So you hear about the Dunning-Kruger effect, right? So the Dunning-Kruger effect, um, there's actually kind of a, a really short story back in 1995 of how really all of this started going on. And that was a, a man decided to rob a bank, right? And walked in there, totally confident, totally bull, broad daylight, goes up to the, uh, to the teller, holds her up, grabs the money, he's smiling at the cameras and everything. I mean, it was a very kind of an odd, odd situation. And when he got caught by the police later that day, he couldn't believe that he got caught. He had no idea. He goes, well, his famous saying of, of how all of this really started was, well, how I wore the juice. I wore the juice. And the cops couldn't really figure out what was going on and, and why he was saying that. Well, come to find out, he took lemon juice. And he rubbed lemon juice on all of his all of his body, his face, his arms, the whole nine yards, because he learned that lemon juice was one of the properties to make invisible ink. And so he legitimately thought if he did this, the cameras and the people would not see who he was. And he was just completely bewildered that it didn't work. So that's kind of the background story that in 1999, uh, scientists Dunning and Kruger got together and they ran an experiment to see why people had this cognitive bias and, and to really kind of put it out there for the world to see. It was, it was a groundbreaking study. And so with the Dunning Kruger effect, and, and I'll, I'll get into that in just a second, but just a, kind of like a relatable thing, right? So um, I actually decided to make this video because I posted a video yesterday that I will put think it's going to appear over there. I'll put a little tab right there and I'll also put it in the description. Um, but I was looking at the psychology of the people that follow the flat earth. Um, and again, it wasn't knock on anybody. It was just, you know, bringing that information out there and having a healthy debate about it, you know, not to debate the science or anything. I wanted to debate the background and mentality and why people do that in the first place. And I got quite a bit of input by people who legitimately believe the earth is flat. And so to me, I think that's a prime example of the Dunning-Kruger effect because a lot of people that have no science type of background or really any experience in this whatsoever hold themselves at the level of the intellectual and the expertise level of astrophysicists, of scientists, of geologists, of uh, math, you know, mathematicians. You know, uh, scientists, rocket scientists, I mean, rocket scientists, right? And in that culture, they believe, they truly, truly believe because they saw YouTube videos uh, or they, they feel that they've done experience enough to hold themselves at that level. And then not just that, but then they just say that all these experts in their fields are lying. So therefore, they're correct. So with, with with their limited or no experience or background into this, they are trying to disassemble science as we know it and, and what is provably true and how the world works. So it's really a fascinating thing. But in case if you haven't been exposed to something quite like that, think of it this way. How many people do you know? And again, I, I come from a, a, an athletic, a, a bodybuilding type of career in the past, and I retired out back in 2015. But I will notice that when people, there will be people that will just start working out, right? They'll, they'll just start. And within a couple of days of working out, they're, they're talking, I mean, they, they changed their name on Instagram, they changed their Facebook thing, and now they're personal trainers. Now they're trying to charge people for, for what they do in the gym. 
uh, what supplements to take. They, they all of a sudden become experts in this field when really they're just barely scratching the surface or still very, very ignorant when it comes to what it's really about with the, you know, they're like, oh, this is a lifestyle. It's like, dude, you know, Jenny, you've been doing this for a week, you know, so don't, don't preach to me about this lifestyle because I've been living it for a decade now, you know, so you'll see, or if you haven't been exposed to something quite like that, think about your workplace, right? So whatever you do for a living, say if you went to school for that, right? Um, if you're a, nur a nurse practitioner or um, even working in retail, you know, like you're a manager or a store owner and you will have people come up and tell you how to run your business or tell you you're doing something wrong when these people have absolutely no experience in your field of work, you know, and, and doctors and nurses in particular, you guys get it really bad because everybody goes into a hospital and they think they're doctors. They tell you how to do your job and they have no experience in that field and so why do people do that right so this study was really really fascinating so a matter of fact like in america for example they asked people how they felt that they rated how, how they feel their skill was in these particular areas and three of the biggest areas that were hit um, that people really really overestimate their skills is grammar logic and humor a lot of people think they're funnier than what they are. A lot of people think that they're better at grammar than what they are. You know, you see that online everywhere. And logic. You know, so there are people that will, matter of fact, in this study, say for American drivers, for example, they have a bunch of drivers rate their driving. And 88%, 88% of the respondents to, to that question rated their driving skills of being above average, which statistically can't happen. You can't have 88%, you know, be better than average because mathematically that doesn't work. So people grade their, their expertise or their ability a lot higher, even if they have really no background, be it new drivers, be it, you know, drivers that um, do not have the background or the experience in that or rating their, their performance. You know, um, they rated debate teams and debate teams thought they were winning 60 plus percent of the time. They felt they were crushing it when in all actuality, they were getting four out of five questions wrong during the debate. But they they thought that they were just killing it. Right. So so that cognitive bias can be very, very dangerous because, you know, when when you're ignorant or are just scratching the surface on a subject, I mean, you really think that your level is just is, is just amazing. And so the problem with that is that you're not able to reflect on your flaws. You're not able to reflect on where you need improvement. You can't take constructive criticism. You can't see things on the other side, on the flip side. So your growth really stagnates. And the crazy thing about the Dunning-Kruger effect is that the smarter somebody gets, the more experience and the, the more expertise that somebody develops within a certain field of study, they are able to look at that objectively and they actually have doubts because they start understanding that there's so much they don't know. And so they start having doubts in their ability because they feel everybody's on the same level as them. You know, that's why, again, I'm a business manager. I've been in business for a very long time been doing this and I'm very successful at it. I've done very well. You know, however, when I talk to somebody about what I do, or if I'm up giving a speech or in a conference or whatever, you know, I am always open to where I can improve. What can I do better? And if there's something that is questioned, I don't just boldly go, well, da, 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 and, and that, that's the authority. I look into things because I know that there are times I can make mistakes or there are things that I can always get better at. You know, and so it's really crazy because especially in the online world, you know, where ignorance really is bliss and everybody has a platform, people think they are much more important or are much more intelligent than what they really are. And so when you get on these platforms and they just start spewing everything like they are a subject matter expert, they're really not only giving it a service to themselves, but they're giving it a service to other people as well when they're claiming 
that they are experts in this because they feel like it, you know, because they they have this Dunning Kruger type of effect going on with them to where they 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 do not understand how truly ignorant they really really are and how much how better they really think their ability is and that's why at times it can be very hard when you get into a debate with people like this and i'm sure everybody watching this video has gotten into a debate with somebody who thinks that their level is much higher than what it is. And no matter, and it's very frustrating because no matter how you talk to them, no matter what empirical evidence that you provide, no matter what you show them, they will typically always revert back into whatever their comfort zone is. And they'll normally just start parroting or repeating over and over and over, and over no, no matter what you do. And that could be people with the shape of the earth or that could be people talking about politics or, you know, whatever kind of big trigger thing that people talk about now um, that are constantly fighting back and forth. So a lot of people, they just rate themselves a lot higher than what they are when they're truly ignorant um, when it comes to a particular subject. So I'll actually link um, a couple of, of, of studies that I feel that could probably help some people out and just take a look at it. And hopefully this kind of addresses some of the questions or some of the frustrations some of you may have dealing with people that have really no idea what they're talking about but they really think they do you know and so being able to understand it or identify it because again i mean with that cognitive bias is really there's really not anything you can do that's going to sway them either way hopefully when they if they open themselves up to more education and and really looking at things objectively they can turn the tide but a lot of those people they just don't they they, they will never look at it in a different way because you know they're they're stagnated they, they they remain ignorant but think they're an authority you know so and, and for me that was always a difficult thing for me and, and my, my wife has talked to me about it several times to where i could not understand how some people would would stay with a very very ignorant belief that is provably wrong on many many different ways and they will latch onto that and they will not accept any outside information that that contradicts what their belief system is and the thing with about with that especially online is they'll stay in these echo chambers with people that have that same level of competence and again the dunning the dunning kruger effect has nothing to do with iq so it, it is not correlated IQ. Some people think it is, but it, it's truly not. Because you can have somebody who's very intelligent, very, very intelligent on different subjects, but on other subjects, they have no, like for me, right? So um, for me, I am not a, uh, I'm not a musician, right? I, I can't play music. I, I have, I have zero music, um, uh, aptitude. I, I just, I, I have none, right? So that would be like me telling a band or an artist or a song that it musically, it sucks, right? Like I can have a taste. I, I can have a, a taste, meaning that I could not like the music and that's totally opinion based and, and everybody has that opinion. However, I cannot say, hey, you should do this. You should do that. You should do this. And the way that you synthesized this and the way that you did this, and the way, because now I'm talking about something I have no idea about. And being able to self-reflect and understand that, that you, you are not the best at everything. And, and there are things that you have, you know, nothing about. So basically stay in your lane, you know, and respect, you know, other people's expertise and identify other people's expertise. Um, that's where a lot of people, they just can't do. They think that their intelligence transfers to everything and it, and it doesn't, especially in skilled trade. They just, they just don't. They can be the smartest, they can be the sp smartest designer in the world. Doesn't mean they're a rocket scientist, but when they approach that situation like they are, that's really where that Dunning-Gruger effect really comes into play and you can see it. So again, I hope this helps people to kind of identify things and not get so frustrated when it comes to talking to people like this because you'll never win. I mean, it's an, it's an actual phenomenon why people do it. Like it, it's it's recorded, so you're not crazy. You know, you're not like, oh man, you know, um, you know, I, I have to. I'm on a mission to, to to educate people and to show people this and this and this. Like you're you're not going to win that. You know, you just have to understand 
that this is the process that people go through. And a lot of people will never get any more skilled and ignorant on everything, but they, they think that they're just the authority. So anyways, this is, uh, this is Tech Thursday. My name is Jacob Bill. If you like this content or if you have any input or anything, please feel free to get a hold of me, throw a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a like. If you hate this video, give it a dislike. Let me know why. Let me know what I can do to improve my channel. Um, and I will catch you all tomorrow for Feedback Friday on YouTube. Take care.